Hi guys and welcome to my next Desperate Housewives review. So I just finished finally season 6. Took me a while to really get through this because I would rather watch and upload at the same time than it would make it go faster instead of boring waiting but I'm really going to be talking about mainly some of the characters and storylines as well so let's get started so I want to talk about um mainly about the storylines throughout the entire entire season they were juicy definitely they were so juicy and they're amazing I'm going to talk about um Catherine and Susan now as we all know that Kat knew that end of season five that someone would marry Mike but what you didn't know is that Susan actually remarried Mike. Catherine was very jealous trying to lure um, MJ and Mike got pissed at her. She kept doing it. They had a massive how he, Mike had a massive anger fit at um, Catherine and she she gave a knife to Mike to say, kill me now. Because she doesn't want to live with the pain. But Mike said that she wasn't worthy. He put it down and he left. But Catherine was framing Mike. But was calling Dylan. That, um, that she was married with Susan. That was a big lie. And she was committed in a mental hospital. Or oh, a psych hospital. I wasn't really um, paying attention to it. But um, to really end the story with Catherine, she got better. Everyone in the neighborhood came and forgave her. She moved in the stripper. Now, I will be talking more that with Susan. But they entered a lesbian relationship together. And then they left to go to Paris, which I think is really romantic. And we get to find out what happens in Season 7. I wonder what happens. So, I want to go on with Susan. So, Susan has been through a lot. I'm dealing with everything with Catherine, how mean she's been. And then dealing with the fact that um, she was kind of framing Mike for attempted murder, but didn't happen. But then Mike has... After that happened, he had a lot of trouble with money. Sorry, my glasses is kind of falling out. But, um, Susan found out. She, Mike didn't want to have her money, but then went to Carlos, and then they had a fight. Susan found out. But then Susan went through all the tax stuff, then went to the IRS, and then they had to move out of still lane which was that, that that was big on her so the next one i definitely want to talk about is a free brie so basically throughout the entire season she was having an affair with um susan's ex-husband now i loved him until the part when they killed him off and that's what i hate about the season but it's it's understandable um, Orson becomes disabled, he isn't dealing well, he wanted to commit suicide and then, um, Bray and him were trying to mend it, but at the end of the season, Bray had to sell her company to Rex's, um, apparently child, I thought they were going to get a DNA test through, um, this season, but it didn't happen. I'm going to have a look through the extras to see if they actually tried to do a DNA test. If not, you guys should have put it in um, Season 6. It would just make it more interesting, the reactions to everything. But Danielle told a secret to that son, Rex's um, child, about what happened in Season 1. That's why Austin left Bree. And we'll wonder to what Bray is now going to do. So the next one is the free Gabrielle. Now she had a big season. She looks gorgeous. Anna was in her in 
coming into the series. Now, the actress that plays Anna, I just want to let you guys know, she actually stars in Mean Girls 2. Go watch that movie because I do love that movie as well. So, big shout out to Mean Girls 2 and go see it. Basically, Anna, which is with Gabrielle, um, had problems with her, shipped her off to New York. Danny, who I would explain, um, I told after Gabrielle, basically shipped her off. She helped the neighbor out. And it's like up in the air with Brie. Will Brie tell Gabrielle what happened in season one? Who knows? Maybe it will be revealed next season. So, on the talk of Gabrielle, we have a new, we have a new housewife, which is Angie. Now, I love the person who plays Angie. Big shout out to that actress. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce her name. It's on the back of a DVD. But, a big shout out to you because I love how you play that girl so much. And this is why season 6 is one of my favorite 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 seasons of all so basically Andrew moves on to Elaine she's new they try to be like any other ones but the secret is that Andrew was actually a um eco-terrorist well joined Something like that for the environment. Let me let me actually phrase that. She joined an environmental group trying to help out. Then she fell in love with a guy who is played by one of my most favourite, favourite actors. And if you ha ever heard of Torchwood and Captain Jack Hartness, the actor that plays him. I love him. He's amazing. And I really wish there will be another series of Torchwood. So please do that, please. But, turns out to be Danny's, aka Taylor's father. Tyler's father. And at the end of the season, it blows. It blows out of your mind. But, summary of um, her entire family. I loved them. Danny went to New York to go live, live out his life and... But his dad died. So yeah, that, that was summarise the rest of um, Angie. Now the last one I want to talk about is, sorry, I'm going to have to sit up for this. Will have to be Lynette. Like, I love Lynette. She's amazing. I love the adult twins that play um, her two twin sons. I'm missing them. But they're amazing. But throughout this entire season, she had to deal with um, opening up about another pregnancy. She was having twins, but unfortunately, one of the babies died, which is really, really, really sad. Um, her, unfortunately, with, with a guy that he was carrying with, I completely forgot his name, which I just was watching the entire season. But um, was the person who strangled Julie, who killed um. One of the twins fiance, but was also the serial murder and strangler in Fairview. Hmm. But she tried to talk to him, but but he went and she just went on with her life. She had a beautiful baby girl, and it's interesting. Sorry if this review is going longer than four. Is this this is my favorite season out of every single one? So this is going to take the longest to upload, but um. I love this. I'll give this about probably five stars. You can get this on iTunes. You can get it in a box set, but go see that, okay? So, letting you all know, all my links are down below. My social media, please go like it on, guys, because I mostly am going to be around. But, other than that, I'll see you for, for my next video. Next review. Two seasons to go. I catch you later.